Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my melts that I have warmed through this week. I wanted to ask a question really quick before I forget. Do you guys like watching melting baskets? Like people who put together melting baskets for like the week or whatever. I felt like when I was doing those before, I felt like I was doing way too much wax for like what I was gonna get through. And I would say there is a little bit of freedom of being able to go in and just pick out what you want when you want it and not being set to one basket. As an alternate plan, I was thinking in my head, I was like, what about things that I just want to get through, like start working on, like bags? I could have like 10 things that I need to start working on or bags that have kind of been sitting around for a while and then I feel like they're either going to go bad or... I just need to use them up or whatever. So question about that. Secondly, I wanna have an honest, like real moment <laughs> with you guys. I have overdone it again. Well, not overdone it, but I feel like I have put in a ton of hauls in the last, what is it, two months? Okay, post editing Kim here. And I just wanted to pop on really quick and say that I, did record this before I was kind of doing like a little real moment kind of thing and when I went back to watch it I was like oh my gosh like I rambled which I probably will do in this clip too I don't know why I have to edit it out but I felt like I needed to edit it out and be more succinct succinct and clear and just that I just needed to be more focused so let me try and get this out a little bit better what I was trying to say in that moment was that I was starting to feel overwhelmed and that I thought I kind of had the wax buying thing under control and now I feel like I am buying. I feel like my last few videos have been haul after haul after haul. I don't know about you guys but I really enjoy warm reviews the best. I don't like I don't really watch too many hauls that often so yeah, so what I plan to do going forward is I plan to purchase from two restocks every month. That's how I'm gonna kind of pull myself, rein myself back in is do two, two restocks a month. And that way I have to pick and choose like what companies I wanna buy from for that month. So I feel like that will really help me not buy from every restock that I want to. So that way I can choose the two that I'm like, okay, these are the two that I really want to purchase from. So there's that. Then I was just saying that, you know, when I came back from my break or whatever, I was on here and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like doing so well. And I, I totally have this under control. And then you get back into the Facebook groups. I don't know about you guys, but as soon as you start getting back into the Facebook groups, then you start seeing all the hauls, then you see people's orders. So yeah. So then I, the last, um, L3 restock. I did my order and then I shut my computer down and then I was out. And that worked out the best for me because then you don't see like what's left and you know, did you forget anything? I did that with Destination Wax as well. So Destination Wax is going to be one of my June orders. That one should be in, I think that one already shipped actually, really fast shipping. So I did order from uh, Destination Wax and I forgot a few things like there were two things I got nervous I, I don't know what happened like the it was open for three days but I kept seeing like um quantities going down I'm like oh I need to hurry so there were two things that I had added to my list at the last minute and I forgot them so instead of going back in and getting them and possibly adding on to my order with more even though they combine shipping which is fine but rather than add on to that order, I just said, forget it. I'll just, you know, I can get those next month if I choose to order from Destination Wax again. So that was fine. What else? I think that was mostly it. I just wanted to just pop on and just like be real for a second and just say, look, like I don't want to encourage you guys. Like I don't want to post a haul and then someone feel like, oh, let me go order. You know, because I mean, I'm not saying that I influence purchases, but you know, sometimes you go to someone's channel, you see something and you're like, oh, I need that scent or I want to try that scent or whatever. And then, you know, you're ordering or whatever. I don't want to do that. So I was like, yeah, um, let's go ahead and try to, um, you know, not set that example or whatever. So yeah, that was just it. I just wanted to come on and just say, hey, you know, I'm not perfect, but I try to 
set a good example, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this. Oh, the other thing that I edited out was I was talking about the birds at our front door. I don't know why. I just, I started rambling about the birds. We have a bird's nest and they come every, uh, well, it's practically summer now, but usually they come around spring, summertime and they make a huge mess. They're cute, but it's time for them to go. <laughs> they need to get out because they're making a huge mess out the front door. I'm out there constantly cleaning, whatever. Anyway, so the birds, yeah, I just had to talk about them. Um, anyways, that was it. Now let's get back to the warm reviews and yeah, let's roll back in. All right, let's go ahead and get in. We're five minutes in already, but I just, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Uh, oh yes, the other thing is too, is L3 is gonna be a big problem. I'm gonna have to figure that out because I do really, like honestly, I do really enjoy L3. Almost everything I've got from her has been like one of my favorite scents like for the week you know it i've always like all of her stuff that i have got in restocks i'm always like oh this is really good like she has done an amazing job blending this or whatever so i don't hate on any of that at all but i'm gonna have to definitely start working in on her stuff because i don't want it to sit i don't want it to sit for like a year or two i don't want any of my wax to sit for a year or two you know that's stupid and i'll get to that in just a minute as well but Let's go ahead and start. So the first thing, I mixed this with something, but I just wanted to show it since I try to go in alphabetical order so you can kind of jump through. So Better Homes and Gardens, I'll just tell you really quick why I pulled this out. Vanilla Cookie Crunch. My friend Canada Kim had talked about this. I believe it was in her last melts. And she had talked about using this as a blender or if you don't like a scent to throw some of this in. I was like, what? Well, I have that in my stash. Why don't I use that? So I had another scent, which I'll get to in a minute that I use this with and it did make it better. So this is just your basic like vanilla scent. I was like, Kim, <laughs> like why, like why haven't you pulled that out? I totally forgot that that was a, you know, a blender scent. So thank you Kim for throwing that out there because I actually used it on a scent and it actually did make it better. So this was sent from my friend Kristen. I was so excited she sent me a box full of uh, blends and just you could tell tell I mean she Labeled everything and she, there was a ton of these small bags in there. So I, thank you so much Kristen That was so nice of you. I dove right in and this first thing is Cape Cod Coast and lemon fresh So at first I thought this was gonna be like the lemon was very strong in here And I'm not a lemon lover, but once the lemon kind of died off a little bit It was more of a it almost felt like lemonade to me um, Cape Cod Coast, I don't know the exact scent notes for, but I mean, we can all kind of guess what Cape Cod Coast is. Really pretty, bright, fresh scent. I loved this one, so thank you so much, Kristen. I can't wait to warm the other part of that. From Destination Wax, I, um, I wanted to warm Thai Sticky Rice because I was wondering if I needed to order some more. I thought I had remembered that I did like this, and I do. This is pan toasted basmati rice baked in coconut milk and brown sugar. So the best way to describe this is you definitely get the coconut milk and brown sugar. You get that sweet component. It's not overly sweet, but it's a good sweet. The basmati rice is if um, if you take like a box rice, and you know how you're supposed to put butter in, and then you're supposed to fry up the rice first before you add water and the seasoning. Um, you know that smell of like the, the rice starting to turn brown, like you're supposed to brown the rice. That's what this smells like to me. It smells like browned rice with the brown sugar and coconut milk. It smells so good, like it really does. And I really like that rice smell in there. I know that's odd. It's kind of like the base of the scent profile in this, but it's just, it's good. It's If you've never smelled something like this before, I would definitely say give this one a try. So like I said, I did order it with my Destination Wax order that I put in just recently here. <laughs> so the Bathing Garden, I did Sugared Vanilla Waffle Cone. I actually mixed it with Satin Susie Strawberry Scent. The birds are still going nuts out there. We have a baby bird nest in our front door and it's the cutest thing, but they are so freaking messy. Anyways, okay, so I mixed these two, sorry. Satin Susie Scents, strawberry. I really like this strawberry that she does. It's sad that she's closing. It's very strong. I mixed it with the sugared vanilla waffle cone because I just thought this was gonna be kind of weak on its own. 
and um, these did good okay. I, I will say I don't love mixing things up anymore, and I'll get to that um, a little bit more as to why, but this wasn't bad, you know, it was fine. It just, it wasn't, I think I'm just gonna stick on like buying things that are already blended and not mess around with, not mess around with uh, blending. I'm just, I don't know, I think I've done too much blending recently. <laughs> So the next thing I have, oh geez, I almost spelled that, oh my gosh. Okay, so the next thing I have is Empire Alchemy Main Street Parade. This is waffle cone, vanilla ice cream, fresh fried beignets, and kettle corn. This was very strong on the beignet and kettle corn. I don't know that I love this type of scent anymore. Like I like bakery still, but um, this one was just, I think it was the kettle corn, honestly. You know, kind of like that buttery popcorn note. I don't, it just, it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't working with me this week. Um, this one was okay. I am starting to find a bit of an undertone in my Empire Alchemy, so I'm trying to work through my Empire Alchemy to see what it is. Now, there are certain scents I have from her that don't have any weird undertone to them, but I don't think this one did. I feel like there was another one I had, or maybe it wasn't this week, but um, I just thought I'd note that. So the next one I have is Pacific Coast Highway. This is green. This is green ozone, bergamot, salty sea breeze, sea kelp, hint of citrus, vanilla ice cream, hint of asphalt. Now, to be honest, I had only really smelled the green ozone and possibly a bit of a sea note. Not, I don't know if it was, it didn't smell like salty sea air to me. This one was a little bit lighter. I feel like it was a medium scent throw. Oh, this is the one I got the undertone on. For some reason, I keep getting this like sweet, I don't know, I don't even know if I'd call it sweet. Not like candy sweet, but just like a sweet, it smells like a wax base to me, but I don't, I mean, I don't know, I've never smelled a wax base before. I don't know, it just, it didn't perform the way that I wanted it to or the strength that I wanted it at. So, I don't know, I feel like, I hate to say it, but I feel like kind of my Empire Alchemy is kind of going off, I'm not sure yet. I need to like warm some more, but yeah, I don't know. Um, if you guys have any comments on that, let me know. Like, let me know if anybody has warmed through their older Empire Alchemy and what you think. Uh, I did only warm one L3 this week, which is kind of surprising because I usually try to cool L3 all the time. So I need to put this in here. There we go. Okay. This is Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and Companies, co companies Coming. So this is Candied Whip Vanilla, Marshmallow Meringue, White Magnolia, and Fluffy Sandalwood for Breeze Type Cotton Candy and Snuggle. So... This is obviously the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and then the Febreze Cotton Candy and Snuggle. And I really wanted that Febreze Snuggle and Cotton Candy to come out, but it was heavier on the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. Now this is the perfect example of why I always stress like don't buy too much of one scent note because I can already tell I'm getting sick of Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and this was one melt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I either need to mix, I like, I want to mix a s more snuggle in here or more of a clean scent because the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds was, I was just like, oh man, I and I think I bought like three or four different things with this scent. You know, it was when Boardwalk Mellow Clouds was popular and I was like, oh, I like that. And then, you know, then we've had the Palo Santo and then the Strawberry Pound Cake. Just don't do it. Like just buy one thing from that scent category and call it a day. Otherwise, you're going to be screwed like me. <laughs> that one was strong on the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. But you could get little hints of the clean, but I wanted more of the clean. So there's that. Okay, let's get into, let's see, we have a Rainbow Melts here. I have some that I, that I mixed. This one was really good. I really enjoyed this one. This is Cookie Cream Supreme. This is Cookie Heaven, Zucchini, Vanilla Bean, Marshmallow. This one was so good and so strong. This was two rabbit heads, and I used half and half of a rabbit head and then another half. So one and a half rabbit heads I divided between two warmers. When this one was done though, it was done. Um, it was on my 24 watt warmers and those burn off oils pretty fast. So when this one was done, it was done. This was a very strong cookie vanilla scent. Now the zucchini for me, I was having trouble smelling the zucchini. It wasn't very strong in here. To me, when, whenever I smell a spicy zucchini, I can always smell it, but creamy zucchini has always kind of thrown me off a little bit because they mix better with the scent, I feel like. I don't know, she, she may use a spicy zucchini, who knows? I could be totally wrong, but 
this was a creamy zucchini to me, to my nose. Very good scent though. If you like cookie scents, I think you would really enjoy this one. This one was real nice. I love, I love all of her, like her bakery stuff comes off so good. All right, let's talk about Rose Girl's mini melters. I am almost through with my, like I've gotten through quite a big chunk of my mini melters. I, I remember mini melters. When I did my wax stash video, like where I did, I think it was like an hour and 40 minutes. It was ridiculous. People were like, holy crap, look at all your mini melters. And I was like, oh my God, you guys are right. <laughs> look at my mini melters, like what did I do? So I'm glad to be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with the mini melters. I did de-stash some and I'm glad that I did do that. And then I've been trying to use these other ones, but you know, honestly, I'm not gonna buy the mixers anymore. I just, they never turn out the same way that a blended wax melt does, I guess. So I did cereal killer, waffle cone, and marshmallow smoothie. So this is okay. I mean, I just don't love cereal killer on its own, which was my mistake. I should have never purchased that, but mixing it with a waffle cone and marshmallow smoothie, I was like, ah, oh, this isn't really working. Like the cereal killer was still like the main dominant note. And I tried to mix more of the waffle cone because I didn't have much cereal killer left. So I tried to mix more waffle cone and marshmallow smoothie. They just, like when I smell them in the back, I just don't really get like a super strong waffle cone smell or like an authentic waffle cone. It's just more of like bleh to me, you know? So yeah, so I did finish a bag of cereal killer so then I had the bright idea. I was like, hey, since that didn't work out so well, try it with Zen because Zen is a, like goes really good. Like I had a Kiwi Zen, I think one time and I thought it was great. So I was like, since this is fruity, why don't you mix it with Zen? Well, my Zen bag, I don't know if this has always been the color of Zen. I'll have to go back and look and see because I got a fresh new bag of Zen and it does not smell like this. This smells like ass. Like, I'm just gonna say it. It smells like total ass. I don't know what happened. I, but it, I like used it cause I was like, oh, let me just see, you know, I, maybe there's nothing wrong with this. But I literally had to clear out this room with a different scent because this was so bad. <laughs> so I need to go back and see when I bought this Zen because honestly, I was like, I need to, like what happened to this bag? Oh man, it just, it smells awful. Compared to the Zen I got in my last order, this is bad. So that's gonna be going in the trash. Uh, not gonna keep that. Um, so now what may have happened with this one, I think, is I did a fall basket. I did a fall basket where I put a bunch of fall scents in a container and I had it sitting out, not in the direct sunlight, but I had it sitting out in like an area where you know, maybe some sun could have hit it. I don't know. It was in a container though, uh, not a clear container, a, a color container. And I think maybe it just sat in there too long. I mean, I, I it might be three years old. So it's not like it's Rose Girl's fault or anything or that her stuff goes bad. But in this situation, it went bad, real bad. <laughs> so this, okay, so now I said all that about not getting mixers anymore, but I will say that this did work out really well. So this is pink sugar, spearmint, and peeps cake. This was gorgeous. This was beautiful. Um, I'd rather just buy pink sugar, spearmint, and peeps cake. This is a blend that she does on her own or that she offers in like restocks and whatnot. And I would buy this uh, mixed up. And by itself, it was good too. It like the pink sugar, spearmint really comes, goes nicely together. Even if you're not a spearmint lover, I still liked this. And the Peeps cake just makes it like a sweet, you know, adds sweetness to everything. So I really enjoyed that. that there was no problem there. But again, like I said, I just, I'd rather have the, the vendor mix it up for me rather than um, trying to do it myself. Okay, Love Yourself Fluff Puffs, which is, let's see, is it mango sorbet? No, strawberry shortcake, mango sorbet, Rice Krispie treats and marshmallow smoothie. And monster cookie. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what's in here. I remember it does have mango sorbet and then the cookie. I think I got it right. Okay, anyways, um, this one was okay. I used to love this scent. Like this scent was like always a hit for me. This time around though, 
I feel like the mango sorbet was really like popping out for me. And I just was like, mm, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it with the bakery notes anymore. I still have another bag of this, so I'm gonna try to warm it again. I'm pretty sure my other bag is cured. Maybe I'll warm it again this week and see if I like it a little bit better because it really was kind of sad. I was just like, why don't I like this? And I used to love this scent. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, the next one I have, I need to take this bag out of here because it's. I just left it on there because it has a label on there. But this is a Satin Susie scent. This is pumpkin milkshake, vanilla smoothie, brown sugar. This one was way too sweet. This one was still nice and strong, but oh my goodness. It was like overpowering the entire room and it was just too freaking sweet. I mix this up. This is one of her like custom deals you could do. So I use an entire flower and I just have a piece left and then another flower. I might save this for fall, but yeah. Um, in theory, the scents all work out together really nicely, but it's just way too sweet. I really like vanilla smoothie and brown sugar, and I do like pumpkin milkshake. I'd had pumpkin milkshake before in another blend, and I was like, oh, I need more pumpkin milkshake, and Satin Susie at the time had had pumpkin milkshake. Not a lot of other vendors just carry straight up pumpkin milkshake, so I was all over it. Okay, let's jump into super tarts. So I have Alice, which is fizzy pop, apricot, and raspberry. This was way too sweet for me. I thought I was gonna love this. I thought, oh, how pretty, like, it smells so like pretty and I think it's gonna be a good scent and it was way too sweet. I felt like I was running a daycare out of here because this literally smelled like Kool-Aid or like um, you know, some sort of drink that you would mix up that was just like way too sweet. Uh, what is it, is it Kool-Aid? Am I thinking, is that what I'm thinking of? Kool-Aid, high C, I don't know. It was just too much raspberry, too much ap apricot and I thought the fizzy pop would save it but I think it just added to the sweetness. This was too much. This is the one that I mixed with the um, vanilla crunch cookies that I have down there, the Better Home, um, the Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch. That is the what I ended up mixing with this and it actually made it much more doable for me. But this one is strong. Go light on this one if you have it in your stash because it is very sweet and very strong. I probably overdid it on that one. I probably could have, I did it throughout my entire house. So I did three cubes in my kitchen and then three cubes in my living room. So two and one, so two cubes in one warmer, one cube in the other warmer in my living room. So that way I could have it throughout the entire house and it was, whoa, it was strong. 007, I am loving some of these manly scents from super tarts i love gail i love this one there's another one arrow i really like i'm just loving like all of her manly scents this is cologne a hundred dollar bills and golden amber this one is warm cologne it almost smells and i don't know if she puts a hundred dollar bills on there just to like you know be cute or whatever but i swear that there is like a small scent of if you ever get like a new dollar bill in your hands and you know you know that smell, it's like uh, not really a fresh smell. I'd say it's kind of a unisex smell. Would you guys agree with that? Kind of that unisex type scent. Just mixed with the cologne and the amber makes it warm. It's mostly cologne though. Like I would say it's mostly cologne, but I would say this is one of my favorite manly scents. Gale was another one that I did just recently that I really liked. I had another one too. I've just been loving all of her like manly scents. So good. Okay, so this one, I don't know what happened. Stranger Things, this is cola, cherry, vanilla, waffle cone, upside down cake. I don't know what happened with this one. So I had seen my friend, I don't even know what her name is. I just know her channel is Morrison Blue. I. I think I recommended her channel in a video previously, but um, this one, so she was talking about this one and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot, I really like that scent. Because the cola and cherry, you think, oh my gosh, that sounds super strong, I'm not gonna like it. The cola and cherry are very like minimal in here. It's more about the vanilla waffle cone and upside down cake. But for some reason for me, I don't know if I got like a bad one or what, but this one just like, it fell super flat um, fast. It smells great in the container, but when I got it on warmers, it just, 
I, it just was not how I remembered it at all. I don't even know what to say because I, I honestly did not even get that great of a scent throw from it. And I remember this one doing really well. And I remember the vanilla waffle cone and upside down cake being like the stars of the show and then the cherry and the cola just coming up and like adding to the scent notes but not taking over those two bottom notes the vanilla waffle cone and upside down cake. So I don't know what happened. I can't really speak on that one because it just didn't do well for me this time. I've had it before and I liked it, so I don't know. Here's another one too that was really good at first and then it just, it died faster than a guy on Viagra and his Viagra wore off. It just, whoop. <laughs> it's uh, peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, and ozone. Do you, okay, so I have a question for you guys. Do you know of any vendors that carry this scent note, Stress Relief, which is, I guess, eucalyptus, lavender, and ozone. She added peppermint to the Stress Relief, I believe. I love this scent. I thought the Stress Relief, I didn't think I was a Stress Relief girl, but I really liked this. So, yeah, the peppermint in here and the eucalyptus just really work well together. I don't know if I was smelling lavender and ozone, but... It's definitely a peppermint eucalyptus. I always have trouble finding lavender though when there's really strong notes along with it. So I don't know, there could be lavender in there. But I love stress relief. So if anyone knows anyone who carries eucalyptus, lavender, and ozone, I'd love to try it on its own. Anyways, um, I use this for like a nighttime blend in my 24 watt warmers. I always have good luck with super tarts but again this one was one that just felt like it i felt like it went good for about two hours and then i couldn't smell it anymore i don't know what's going on i did rainbow melts in those same warmers yesterday and my rainbow melts did fine so i don't know um yeah i don't know but i really liked this one it kind of surprised me i would like to get that one again and, and give it another try and maybe in a different room if i ever have troubles with anything i always revert to our bedroom Everything throws in there for the most part. So laundry for days, which is laundry, laundry, laundry. And I was trying to think in my head what laundry is in here because it's just, you know, it's not very descriptive. I think I smell Poppins. I think I smell, which is the one from the Golden Melts that is the Lush Supernova, Downy, and Sweet Lollipops. Because I swear I smell like a sweet yeah, I, yes, I definitely smell like a candy sweet in here. I think it's Poppins and, gosh, is it Blanche? Is Blanche the one with Supernova, Downy, and Sweet Lollipop? I remember getting that one from the Golden Melts when she first released it. And I, I hate to say this, I didn't like any of the Golden Melts. <laughs> I haven't had any of them in a long time, but I remember when I, on first sniff, I didn't like any of them. The, so I do get, the only thing that ruins this for me is the smell of whatever, if it's Blanche, if that's the one I'm thinking of, that has the downy and it is kind of, that sweet note is kind of taking over, but I do smell Poppins in there, which kind of fixes it for me because I do like Poppins. The only other laundry scent I can think of that she has is Minerva. I don't think I smell Minerva in here. So it just smells like Poppins and Blanche to me if I had to guess, but... Um, I did like this one. Pa I like Poppins better, but that one is a good alternative. I did like that one. The next one I have, I really liked this one, and I can't believe I did not buy this one sooner. Vanilla Cream, Sandalwood, Driftwood. This is Groot. Oh, this one is so good. I love the Sandalwood and the Driftwood, and then just the sweetness of the vanilla. It definitely has, uh, like on cold, it definitely has a very strong sandalwood and um, the driftwood but when you get it on a warmer it all kind of creams out and just smells like a beautiful like sandalwood blend is how I would describe this if you like sandalwood I would definitely try Groot such a good one the next one I have is street rat which is fresh linen mandarin oranges warm sand fresh ozone this one smells so good to me I don't quite know how to describe it I was thinking of the warm sand. I would love to have golden sands from, is it Yankee Candle? I would love to have golden sands next to me to sniff in comparison, because I feel like the warm sand might be golden sands, but I'm not sure. 
This is almost like, I thought it was clean cotton in here, but I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to clean cotton because anything I've ever had clean cotton in, uh, Governor, which is clean cotton and lemonade, makes me sneeze. Um, what's the other one with clean cotton? Ugh, I can't think of it right now. Is it not Jasper? Is it Jasper or? She has another one that has clean, clean cotton and, and something and I thought I would like it and it made me like sneeze. I feel like this is clean cotton on crack because it's so like, it's like clean cotton but like amplified by like a thousand. And I feel like you definitely smell the ozone and like a warmth from the warm sand. I don't know if I get oranges. There might be a slight, it kind of reminds me of Poppins a little bit with the, you know, saying that it has oranges in it because it's very subtle. Poppins is su the same way, it's kind of subtle. Oh, this one smells so good. If you like fresh, 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 this is fresh. <laughs> it's just, it's different. It's like one of the stronger linen scents I, or like laundry scents I've had. There's no like laundry notes in it though. There's no downy, there's no gain. It's more of like a fresh laundry, but without laundry, if that makes any kind of sense. Punisher is tobacco, red apple, vanilla bean, ocean breezes. So this is Omen mixed with tobacco. So my problem with the Omen is the red apple. You guys know that I have troubles with apple sometimes. Like sometimes it's a little bit too much for my nose. I don't know why. I used to love red apple and now I'm just like, make it go away. <laughs> Once this dies off though, the tobacco really starts to come out and be like the star of the show. It's really very pretty, but go easy on this. I do use this in the bedroom. I started out with two cubes. Next time I'll just do one and um, yeah, try to tone it down a little bit. So I would definitely go with one first um, if it's your first time warming it because it is strong. But once it dies down a little bit, that tobacco really comes through and the apple kind of dies off a little bit and then it's more doable for me and I really like it. So there's that. And then, okay, so I did do some, I finished up my last little half of this Aqua de Gio from that Smell Good Shop. This is a masculine, fresh, and aquatic scent. So uh, Tammy and I were discussing this in the comments and shoot, I hope it's Tammy. Tammy, I think that's your first name. Um, you go by a different name now, like uh, Miss Jones. You guys are probably all, I think Miss, I see Miss Jones everywhere, <laughs> but I think it's Tammy. Um, where was I going? Oh yeah, so we were talking about this scent and when I first warmed it, I warmed it by itself and I got a very green note to it and it wasn't pretty. It was like a sea kelp type scent and I just was not liking it in this scent. I just thought this scent smelled good on its own, on cold and then warmed. I was like, what the hell is that green note in there? Like I did not smell that on cold. So I went ahead and did the other half in the bathroom. Did I do it in the bathroom? Yeah, in the bathroom. And what I did is I went ahead and I mixed it with Vanilla Bean Noel because I just thought, well, let's try to tone down that green note at the end and see if this helps. And I didn't get a green note when I mixed it, but I was wondering, I was like, is the Vanilla Bean doing anything or is it just diluting the scent? So I went ahead and warmed Vanilla Bean in the bedroom. That's kind of like my tester area, I guess. Like if I wanna know if something's working or not. So I put just straight up Vanilla Bean. Cause I'm really starting to like not trust these blender scents. I don't know why, like not from any vendor in particular, but I'm just like, are these actually doing anything or are they just kind of like diluting the other scent? I did ask my husband cause I couldn't, I could smell like a very faint vanilla bean scent, but I asked my husband, I said, can you smell anything? And he's like, yeah, so he could smell it. I couldn't as much I, and how strong it was to him. I don't think, he usually comments when something is too strong. So I don't think this was like, too strong. It just smells okay in the, the back, but I'm not getting, like I don't smell vanilla bean Noel, like right off the bat. It's like, you really have to dig. So I don't know if this bag has gone bad as well. I mean, it looks fine compared to the Zen. The Zen looks like crap. Um, oh, there's the Zen right there. So, I mean, you can see there's, this one's still colorful. It doesn't have as much smudging. I mean, the Zen looks like it's been through hell and back. So I don't know. Um, so anyways, this is my, <laughs> I'm just gonna turn you here. That's my little empties. 
yeah, and that's what I got through this past week. So basically I had kind of a good and bad week with melts and I, I like it, like I don't like when I have like a struggle week with melts because then I'm just like, ugh, you know? So I don't know. I need to, I think what I'm gonna do is I think every melting basket, I'm gonna toss something. Like I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna find something that's gone off or something that I'm not gonna warm that's old and it's just gonna go. Like the Zen bag, for instance, it's it's gone. Like I just, I can't with the Zen. The Zen was just awful. So um, there's also this Vanilla Bean Noel, I just don't know. I might, this one might get chucked too because I just don't foresee myself using it in the future. I mean, I hate to throw away wax, but, oh, look at that owl in the back. Oh, that is super, or is it, no, it's a cat. Okay, you guys, hold on just a second. <laughs> I have to pull this out. First of all, let's talk about this cat, super cute. I mean, see, to me, I can smell the vanilla. So when I pulled that cat out and I smelled it, I was like, I can definitely smell vanilla. But to me, I have a K's scented melt that is in vanilla milk, so it's getting really messy, but isn't this cute caterpillar? It's vanilla milk, or no, vanilla swirl, to me, is like a true vanilla, and that's what I would want to mix. That bird is back. Is Oh, they're so pretty. I just, I love the birds, really. They're just so cute. Um, now it's like a little song out your window. Um, anyways, I feel like I'm rambling a lot. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> the uh, Vanilla Bean Noel, like if I was gonna do it, I would do Vanilla Swirl from Case because to me that's more of a really true vanilla. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I need to go through my blender bags and probably just chuck a bunch. Does anyone else feel like this? Am I alone? Um, comment down below if anyone else is feeling the same. Comment all your thoughts. I love when you guys, some of you guys leave some really good comments. Um, and yeah, I just really appreciate that. Okay, I'm gone. I'm, I've been rambling. And um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Let me know what you've melted this week and liked. I definitely need to try something different next week because this week was kind of just like womp womp, you know, so. Okay, all right, bye guys. Have a good week. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye guys. Okay, one last thing I forgot to add really fast. I'm just gonna throw out the scent throws on everything I forgot really fast. Punisher, strong. Street Rat, strong. Like these were 10 out of 10 strong. Groot was probably about an eight. Still very nice and you could definitely get the smell. Actually, you know what, I'd probably give it a nine. Nine out of 10. Laundry for days, strong. Peppermint Stress Relief, I would probably give, now I did warm it in my living room, so I always feel like living room, I need to be a little bit more generous. I would say this is probably a six or a seven. Stranger Things, this one was probably about a five or a six. Like I said, I didn't have good luck with that one. 007 was gorgeous, nine out of 10. It wasn't so overly strong that it was gonna toss you out of a room. Alice, 10 out of 10. This one I can't really say since I mixed it. This one I would say would probably be like a six. Better Homes and Gardens, I mixed this one as well, so I can't really say like on its own. Thai Sticky Rice, oh crap. Thai Sticky Rice was a, where did I warm this? Oh, in the kitchen. This was like a nine out of 10. This one was strong. Zen was crap, so. <laughs> All it did was funk my space up. Serial killer, I would say it would probably be, probably be a seven or an eight out of 10. This one was probably an eight or a nine out of 10, very strong. This one, so this one was strong, but I feel like it was a, like it wasn't so strong that it was gonna like blow you out of a, a space. So I would say this one was more on like the, medium high side. It wasn't overpowering, but you could still definitely smell it. So I would say based on that, I'd probably give it a seven or eight. I, I mean, it was still, I mean, I, I don't wanna, L3 is probably one of my favorite vendors right now, so definitely not gonna knock that. Okay, Main Street Parade was probably a, I would say just cause it had kettle corn and the beignet smell, mostly like kettle corns to me usually come off pretty strong. So I would say this was probably about 
a six or a seven out of 10. This one was, I mean, you could definitely smell it, but I feel like I've had stronger blends with, you know, this kind of scent note, scent profile. So I would say this would probably be about a six or seven. Um, strawberry from Santa and Susie is always an eight or a nine out of 10. This one was a 10 out of 10. This one was really good. Um, I think Kristen made this as a custom. So good job on that one. That one was good. I did do that in the bathroom though. So just to be fair. When I would be Noelle, I would say just based on what I could smell, I would say a three out of 10. Love yourself fluff puffs. I, you know, I really didn't enjoy this one. So, but I mean, just based on what I could smell, I'd say seven, seven or eight, uh, seven. It wasn't like super, super strong. This one was a nine out of 10. This one was really strong, really sweet. This one, actually, these three together actually did really well. I would say eight out of 10 on those mix that I did. And then marshmallow smoothie and waffle cone. Since I mixed them, it's hard to say. Yeah, I mean, the marshmallow smoothie smell, still smells pretty good in there. Like it hasn't gone off. And then the waffle cone. See, on the waffle cone, I'm just getting such a light scent. Like, I feel like there could be a better waffle cone oil out there that smells more like a toasty, like off the griddle type waffle cone. And this, to me, just smells like really kind of, kind of generic. I don't know. And I'm not saying that to try to be mean to like Rose Girls or anything. This Aqua de Gio was definitely a 10 out of 10. That Smell Good Shop is always like kind of known for its performance. Okay, that is it now, I'm done. <laughs> I forgot to give like scent performance, so I did wanna just like throw that in there real fast and say, um, I always forget to do that in my videos, so I wanted to throw that in at the last minute. Okay, okay, thanks for coming back and I'll talk to you guys soon, bye guys.